Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to remove and replace the front grill on Lincoln MKX, guys. We will have, guys, more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment below with your recommendations or anything, guys, that you want to share with us. Uh, so we we'll guys need to uh, I think we'll need to remove the bumper to remove the grill and we'll show you why guys Make sure you stay with us until the end uh, uh, As I said, we'll have so many videos on this car if you have any specific problems Let us know we will try to make a video for your problem that should guys cover the whole generation for the generation So let's go ahead start on it now and you see what needs to be done So we'll go ahead open the hood this one will be guys the first step and we'll explain what needs to be done now in order guys okay to remove the bumper now what we need to do okay we'll need to work on the left side of the vehicle and the right side what we do to the left side is identical to the right so uh, just to make it a little bit better for you guys and not so long videos what we'll be doing here we'll need to do on the other side on top right here we'll need to remove some clips as well and you're going to see in just a minute okay what I'm talking about so now we need a 10 millimeter socket we're going to remove a couple bolts okay here guys we have a few clips okay you can see like this one here you need to unscrew the center piece up pull that one up Okay, and the whole clip guys comes out Same thing on this side one is missing. Okay one is missing Somebody didn't install it in the past and we have one more here Okay, perfect we're done here now So we get guys a socket uh, ours is 732s the standard size we have to remove a few bolts, okay, here for the fender liner that attached to the bumper. One of our clips is broken, you can see. Okay, perfect. Now, one more here. Okay, perfect. So three of those are ready now guys. Okay, let's see what else okay we need to do. Because we need to go underneath now and remove a few as well. So here guys the last screw actually is the one that holds the bumper towards the bumper mount. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side before we go under the vehicle. Okay, so <laughs> okay you can see we need to remove that bolt there. Okay, you can see working on the second one now, and this is the third one now. This uh, last one is very important because that's the one that holds the bumper to the mount as well. This car was in a very, very minor accident, you can see they just uh, barely hit the bumper and cracked it. Nothing major, it's clean title vehicle, but it, just, it did suffer some some minor damage to the bumper cover the grill and the edge of the headlight here so we're going under the vehicle now guys okay and here okay we have a few screws that we need to remove ours is broken here on the bottom you can see okay one more screw there with that same socket perfect this one is supposed to hold, but ours is broken. Three clips now that we need to remove. OK, 
okie doke sometimes guys will be full of dust and they will come out really hard okay removing the second one and that third one there okay perfect now we have two more screws that we removed here on the other fender liner there so I'll just try to get the view from here Okay, perfect. Now, let's see guys what else is holding now. Okay, so let's start on this side. Okay, we'll need to grab it. There is a few clips. Okay, pull it out of the clips. Okay, we need to disconnect our wires guys. Okay, for the side markers. Press down and pull it out. Okay, or you can just turn it with the whole bulb just turn counterclockwise the whole bulb will come out later you can disconnect them we have uh, the fog lights here disconnect this one as well you just spread those things out no okay so we're doing the same thing to the other side now guys we need to disconnect okay the fog light and the side marker light as well Okay guys, and the whole assembly, okay, came out just like that, you can see. So once we remove the bumper, guys, we can show you where all the screws are for the, uh, for the grill. Now we will, you know why we had to remove all that stuff now, guys, because uh, it's not just, okay, it's not just a couple, okay, you need to remove quite a few. So with 10 millimeter socket now, guys, okay, check out all the nuts that we need to remove. So it's actually 8mm socket, not 10, so we're prepared now, let's go ahead and start on it, okay, remove each one of them. So now guys, okay, we are ready to remove the grill, let me explain to you, now you have, to, you can remove the whole grill assembly here, or you can just remove the chrome piece, okay, we'll remove the chrome piece only with 8mm socket now, okay, we need to remove a few nuts. Okay, let's see how many more we have. Okay, you can see a few are missing guys, those are broken on ours. Okay, one, two, three, because of the accident, four actually broken. We have one here in the corner. Okay, this one is spinning, so now you need to grab guys all the clips and you need to start pulling, okay, pulling that grill out. So now unfortunately it won't come out, we have to remove that bottom piece guys and some people will sew it together with the bottom piece, there is a few clips there, okay, holding, because otherwise, okay, we will not be able to pull it out because the bumper is getting underneath it. We'll need to disconnect that piece here. Okay, it just comes out. Okay, right, guys, um, you're going to see now. Okay, we need to push the bumper out of it. In our case, the bumper is broken, so all that will need to come out. And okay, right here, guys, okay, you can see where the bumper sticks to the 
Okay, to the grill, all that will need to be pushed out. Our bumper is in pieces, so that's why we're showing you that way, but otherwise, all we have to do is push it out, okay, tooth by tooth. Okay, this one is a little bit farther than the other ones. Okay, perfect. Now, right here guys, the bumper gets on top too. Okay, you can see that's your bumper. So, we'll need to push it out. Okay, and you can just grab it once you get it a little bit loose. Okay, and pull it out. That will be your whole bumper, but in our case it came in two pieces. Now, if you just want to remove, guys, the, the whole grill assembly, okay, that's how you guys do it. You can see this is the whole grill assembly. Now, if you want to remove the grill only, guys, okay, we'll need to start uh, we, we already removed those bolts and now we need to just pry it out. There is a few clips on top. Okay, and you can see guys how it's coming out. Just a few clips here holding here and there. Okay, that emblem to make sure there is one nut but doesn't hold there. We just need to push on the bottom. Okay, that nut we will need to remove. Ours is spinning freely, so we will try to remove it somehow. Okay, I think it came loose, yep. Perfect, and now... Ours is a little bit damaged, that's why things are happening a little bit not so smooth. But this is it, guys. This is the grill assembly out of the car, so... That's how you guys remove it, replacement, everything else, reverse order with two kit apart. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.